Today we're going to look at downloading your data from your AIM Solo. Uh, I've done a series of uh, seminars this year and a lot of people have asked before we even get into looking at the information held within the device, how do I get the information from my AIM Solo onto my PC so I can start working on some data analysis. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need uh, the Race uh, Studio 2 software. This is easy to get from AIM and I've also put the link in the box below on this video so you can go in and click on that and download it. Once you've clicked on this, this screen will appear once installed. And then the second thing you need to make sure is there is you've got your Solo plugged in using the USB cable and the Solo device is switched on. You cannot download data if the Solo is not switched on. So on the left hand side you've got a series of options. The one we're going to click on is download data. And if you click on that you should see uh, a window such as this pop up and your Solo will change uh, its screen and say PC connection. Now this shows a series of, uh, of, of sessions that were done using my solo a couple of weeks ago and um, I'm going to download one of them so that we can see what happens. So on the first thing on the screen you can see a series of, of information, some say driver or vehicle, sometimes this is populated, sometimes it's not depending on what machine was used last, the date of the run, how many laps were in the session, etc, etc. Now what you want to be able to make sure as you look at this is the number of laps. Typically laps where there's just one are sessions where the device has triggered itself and then turned itself off again because of a short journey. This might be for example when you've taken your car from the paddock down to pre-grid or have lined up for the race and it registered it as one lap. You want to take the sessions where there are more than one lap typically. And so the next thing is going to highlight the opportunity to download everything in one go. We don't want to do that because we want to separate them out. So first thing you're going to do is click on deselect all and then select the session. If I'm going to click here you can see that I've clicked on a session where there are 18 laps. And then the next thing I'm going to do down here is I'm going to click on download selected. What's going to happen now is it's going to download and as it does it's going to prompt me some additional information which is going to help me spot this as I look at this information elsewhere. So I know that this session was done at Oregon Raceway Park in a counterclockwise fashion, so I'm going to click that. The vehicle was my uh, Specky, for, uh, Specky 46, number 7, so that's installed here. Now if the car's not there, or the track's not there, you also have the option here of adding and modifying, and you can go in and call it anything that you like. So you could say, for example, this is Spec E46, number 07. If uh, you wanted to be able to classify it as anything you can put in any name you want and it shows up there and you click on OK and now it's in the system uh, for you to be able to record. I'm going to go back to the 7 which is my car. The driver was me and so of all the drivers who are in my system right now I'm just going to pick me. Championship was the Spec E46 championship and the type was a race and then I can put in some additional notes here and I can say that this was the uh, Sunday race uh, uh, for Spec E46 uh, driving. This just gives me some simple information when I'm looking this up in the database. Then I click on save and that's it. Information is now in the system. Now the reason you can't see it and you can't move on to looking at the laps is that you actually need to use a different program. You need to use the, uh, the software which is the analysis information. This is uh, referred to oftentimes as Race Studio Analysis. You can access it two ways. If you have Race Studio 2 open, you can click here. Um, and then the second you can do is you can click on this is a separate standalone um, uh, product so uh, or application. So I'm going to click it here. And what's going to happen is it's going to open up. And you can see that a whole bunch of sessions are available to me. The reason that we put in all that information is it will then help me filter that information that were there. So you can see that all of a sudden, all the way through this, there's a lot of information, but if I click here, you can see that there's the information I captured. 18 laps is what we saw. That was my best lap time. I was the driver. It was the race. The vehicle was the Spec E46 number 7. And if I click on that, it'll now take me to the analysis page where I have those other videos, which you can click on now to be able to go and see what to do with this data and see how to get it into format that you can use.